volumetric lighting effect. In order to make the bottom cone, you just follow the same set of steps with the second cone that you made. So I'll go ahead and change the texture, get rid of that. I will rotate it 90 degrees. Now I'm going to go back. Notice that we're still on the select texture mode. So I want to go back and change the position of the cone. And I'm going to want to make it taper a little bit less. And I'm going to want to change the size. Looks pretty good. And finally, I'm going to change the color so that it matches my light. Now again, we have the same problem that this is a little bit too opaque at the top of the cone. So we'll go ahead and change the repeats per face down to 0 0.5. And then we will modify our offset. It's always going to take a few tries to get things to really match up the way you want them to match up. And there we go. There's a lamp with two volumetric lighting effects. Now, of course, right now, the lamp and the two lighting effects are separate. In order to link those, we don't have to unlink our original lamp. But we do want to maintain the fact that the light bulb is the main prim. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to select our two new objects using the shift select, or the shift and click, and then we'll shift and click our lamp so that the lamp is the last object we selected, and we'll hit control L. So you can always add new objects to a linked object, by just hitting control L. So now you can see our entire object is linked together and our light bulb is still the parent print.